everyone and welcome to our channel so this is going to be our first video that we've ever done so i'm liam that there is sarah and that's little lottie the little springer going mental so a little bit about our channel is we're fairly active going on walks and stuff like that we do photography uh stargazing stuff like that go for walks like we are doing today um we do mountain biking i do the extreme side but it is good every now and again to go for a bit of a leisurely ride which is what sarah's more into uh so currently we're up in where is it howarth yeah. she's getting pulled by a dog she looks like put it <laughs> next let the lead extend and let her just go off on one there you go um so we're currently up in howarth uh, which is known as bronte country or county <laughs> oh crap i'm falling um right so we're up in howarth you can see probably it's a bit wide for that but there's the resi we've currently parked at penny stone uh, the little car park there and we've actually always wanted to go and find the bronte waterfall we just never really never committed to it did we really no. so we've come armed with the gopro thought we'd do our first vlog there's a little bee there where no why come on um but yeah so gonna do our first vlog gonna do some recording along the way i've brought my camera and my big lens because there's gonna be some pheasants and stuff like that out here Rouse a minute ago um there's also sheep sarah keeps nearly falling down little ditches so yeah it's gonna be pretty fun so we thought we'd bring you along the way <coughs> Like I said, it's something that we've wanted to find for a while now. We've just never actually bothered to do it. But yeah, it's uh, really looking forward to it. It's not that warm either, which was my mistake. It was a bit sunny over in Manchester where we're from. But we've got up here, I think it's about 15 degrees. But there is, there's a slight breeze, but with the current weather we've had i forgot to bring a hoodie because i was used to it being so warm but yeah i'll uh i'll pass the gopro over to sarah and she can just get some clips for us We tend to have a, a bit of a thing and what we, we don't mean to but <laughs> because we usually go for walks in the later afternoon when it's a bit quieter uh, usually when all the dogs have come out so I went to a place in Huddersfield called Castle Hill and I think we was there for what about in total not very long I think we drove about 40 minutes to get there I think we was there for about 10 minutes uh, took some pictures and then we called it, uh, called it a day because lots of people turned up and we think it was like a popular dogging spot. And well then, if you read the uh, Google reviews. Yeah, from Google reviews then, it turns out people actually do go dogging up there. So we're sort of like, we stay clearer there now, won't we? Well, but night, well, yeah, we haven't. That was the first time we went, and We've not it back will be the last time. Yeah. Eight years. Again, that's 
pretty busy place that through the day, so what we tend to do as well with that place is go in with it. Like late afternoon. Late afternoon, not the pitch black. But we went to get oh, star yeah, photos. We went, yeah. That's why we was looking at the, the stars. Yeah, so we went up because it was clear and there's no light pollution. So we did a bit of star photography. And same thing again, we pulled up into the car park near the sailing club and then people were flashing the lights at us and we didn't know what they was doing. We just thought they wanted to boogie. And then, yeah, we sort of like twigged on and then we left. <laughs> we all spun out. Do you remember when we went, when we got the bus with our telescope, like little Muppets? Oh. <laughs> and we got scared because we thought we had the toilet flush and that was it. It did flush. Maybe there was automatic flushes. We got the bus. I think, weren't we out around there earlier really that day? No. We what just, was, it was, it was like... I thought we'd been up to Alderman's. No, no, that was when we went to Alderman's in the morning to go rock climbing. It was raining. Yeah. So we decided to go home and then Liam was like, should we go back? So we did art walk all over again. Yeah. And it's not an easy walk. So this one was a separate occasion then. So we got the bus late at night with a big telescope. And we also look like alright. Was it a 1.30? It was the Celestron Astromaster. My. The big, honestly, if you stood it on the floor, it was probably that big. It's like we a had rocket launcher. We had the tripod, the tracker, and the balancing weights. So we had the full lot. So we got on a bus with it to go back up to Dovestones and sit in the car park and have a view of the stars and that. I remember so freaking out on the fog. It was pitch black. Um, middle of winter. Yeah, middle of winter. And then the way that we were sat, we were facing the reservoir on a bench and then behind us, there was the toilets. The, t the lights was on, but there's no cars whatsoever. And then the toilet actually flushed. And when we got creeped out, I think, we, again, we was there for probably 15, 20 minutes. Oh, not even that. It was morning myrtle. Yeah. She liked the toilets, she didn't she? The and then we ended up leaving again. We've never been back at night time since. Exactly. Oh, is it up there? I think it's up there. Pretty little flower. Where? Up that way. Ah. Do you? I think so. That might be it, yeah. I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah, it's got some writing on there. This is where she probably want to sit. Is that a note then? Or she used to go up here and write. Don't know which one. She doesn't know. Adam has made them all. The earth is full of my riches. Father Almighty, wonderful Lord, wondrous creator. <laughs> Hi. She looks so happy. That is so overgrown. Yeah, I think it's that. Well, I think we found it, guys. Right, so we found it. There it is, Bronte Waterfall. It's been a long time that we've said we'll come and try and find it. And we actually have. I'm gonna try and make my way back down. It's a bit, uh, a bit sketchy, right? I was expecting more, but 
it's not been raining it's been really warm over here in the UK lately so that's probably got something to do with it but do you know what be a nice place to just sit and have a picnic pretty cool we've got um we've also got an abandoned building on the way back so we're probably going to try and get into that as well water break Making me what I drink, watching her. Bye. Oh, what's that? I got that. Yeah, there's like, there's a bit of an abandoned ruin of a building. So I think on the way back now, we're, uh, well, I'm gonna try and jib the fence or the wall and I'll have a, try and have a bit of a nosy in see what there is right so we're back at what we think was a farmhouse which is pretty cool that it looked really overgrown inside on that yeah, you can see the crack like running up there where all martyrs fell out Oh, you can't get in, it's bricked off there. Yeah, it's bricked off. Look at the damage. I mean, that wall is totally gone. Be interesting to come back at night though with a torch and see if you can you can get around the front side of it I mean there's houses over there so I don't really want to be doing it in the day but you probably could you know I mean what's in that bit I'm not tall enough <laughs> but isn't it I mean when you look at the plot of land that was in the field there that was only small, but pretty cool. Yeah, I mean that will have probably been just round this side here. It'll probably been the back door to it, but yeah, because there's just a big concrete slab there now. Probably, yeah, because look at the trees that are growing in the, in the, the elements. 
yeah it's cool cool little bit then shame we couldn't get in but like i said because there's other what looks like other entrances on that side well, sunset just having a quick nosy around the side of it so i think there might be some on this side yeah so you could definitely get into it you just jib that little gate and then cut in to the side of it there but I think I'll wait I'll save that and we'll come a bit later at night just walk around it with a torch I think you're not doing it in broad daylight then you're attracting you know, attention to yourself at least we can walk in is it? and I've just been on it Probably come back with a torch at night. Do it under the cover of darkness. Right guys, so that's gonna be the end of this video. We're nearing the end of the walk to find the Bronte waterfall. So we've done it. I keep saying it, I know. But there's a list of stuff in our channel description about what we like to do as hobbies. Um, so we are fairly active. So there's going to be plenty more videos in the future and we're going to start doing some ghost hunts as well but we hope you all enjoyed this video oh, so if you do or did then please click that like button uh, i'm not going to ask you to subscribe if you want to you can i'm not all for pushing that stuff um but yeah so uh See you to the world of YouTube, Sarah. Goodbye. So, one last quick look about of the views. I mean, look at that sunset now. That is incredible. But yeah, so that's it for us, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Ciao. See you later. <laughs>